What is up all you sexy people? Welcome to my playthrough of the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. I have not played this game before, but I did play... What was it? Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper like a long time ago? <laughs> and so the next Sherlock Holmes game is going to be coming out sort of soon. I wanted to play this before it did. So yeah, let's start up. What's this? Ooh. Oh, look, it's a book. Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. No, I don't think so. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the middle. And so I decided to pick up my pen to relate the most disturbing episode of my life thus far. It all began early one morning in 1898, when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. Cool, so Watson's telling a story, and they're saying Marquis, that, <laughs> that bothers me, I always thought it was Marquis, but uh, maybe there's different ways of saying it. Watson, my dear fellow, we can now go and inform the Marquis that we have oh, found God. the Samoan <laughs> necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which pleases me. Have you really solved the theft, Holmes, and so quickly? I have indeed, Watson, and believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes Ooh, to burn. boast that his <laughs> methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Oh, ah, Watson. You see. But you I, do not observe what I don't understand. Their lies the <laughs> it is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. A few seconds later, the master of the house himself. The robbed Marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door using the sole key. A fire has started inside the room, but they have managed to arrive in time to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realizes that the famous Samoan necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory before the arrival of Inspector Baines. Oh, so we get to investigate? Alright. So yeah, this seems like it's going to be sort of similar to how uh, Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper worked. I remember that game was awesome because it was kind of bad. And in a way that, like, it wasn't unplayable, but it was just sort of funny how awkward it was I guess um, and yeah 
I don't know if this game's gonna be like that or if it's gonna be more. I don't know, refined. But either way, I this think it'll be a fun, cut with fun a diamond. Time. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's been a while since I played the other games, so it might take a bit of getting used to for me to remember how the controls work and whatnot. Validate or cancel. Can validate my click. Oh. A mark, undoubtedly made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. Thank you, Watson, for changing a couple words in that sentence and just talking locked. back to me. They've not been forced. Okay, go to the chimney, which is right here. The hand icon. Got it. So we got a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, we already have some stuff. Looks like matches and knife in our magnifying glass. Some music scores. Okay. So we need to get that out. And. Got it. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Alright. Nothing of interest up. here. These like sooty prints print. were left by a tiny hand. <laughs> I don't understand why these music scores are covered with soot. Oh, well, soot by the fireplace. So, I mean, oh, we can do it first person. I'm not sure how I'm gonna play. <laughs> in general, I like to play games in first person, but this game is obviously not like most other games. So, I don't know. We'll see. Alright. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. So they got different types of controls here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the point and click thing because that's not. That's a no no for me. I, I'm not a huge fan of point and click styles. I like some point and click games, but uh, I don't like the controls very much, <laughs> to be honest. I like them to be sort of like uh, The Wolf Among Us, where you can still walk how you want, you know? But you still get to click stuff. Alright, so, looks like the main clue was this fireplace over here. Oh, there's another Strange. One. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. The fire started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Wait, what? I don't, Footprints! I don't know You're not going to get on your British knees to things. examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants <laughs> must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. He's so rude to Watson. Watson, you idiot. It is soot. <laughs> Come on now, Watson. Like, if I was watching, one day I would flip and I'd be like, I'm not taking your crap anymore. All the windows else. are locked. They've not been forced. Alright. So, what are we missing? We can investigate. A candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. It's told me that... There's a tiny handprint, so you trying to tell me that a little baby snuck around All here and the stole a jewel? All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Because that's... That's, that's what seems to be the most plausible <laughs> Not very situation. well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. <laughs> oh, God. You would think a marquee with all these, these documents servants are and not stuff would be able to maintain Even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. Ooh, still bothers me. <laughs> Alright, so what have we missed this here? This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. That's creepy. <laughs> Alright. Strange. There aren't any prints. Yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. I mean, they could have had, like, clean shoes. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard to not make footprints. I think it's inside. <laughs> I'm not sure, but, uh... When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. 
This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually when the door was opened by the servants. What the nuggets? Okay. What do you think, Holmes? Let us search the room before the police get here. We might throw some light onto all this. If you're trying to tell me the freaking baby. The chest wasn't open. Stole opened. this. The necklace wasn't in it. Then I. <laughs> this game will be just as cheesy as I thought it was. Heading towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Uh, I ah, guess we got all the clues. Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived just in time. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. Ah, but I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we baby. have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way. I'm telling you, it was a Half baby. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you find the situation amusing, Mr. Holmes. Very well, then. Explain. Dr. Watson was correct when he mentioned acrobatics, but he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, Mr. Holmes. Watson, how could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? I don't know. Because he is very small? Stop teasing us, Holmes. Yeah, come exactly. on, Holmes. Because he is small. Small and remarkably agile. You're thinking of a monkey? Oh. And a trained monkey at that, without a doubt. A Leontopicathus rosalia from Central America. I thought it was a baby. I'm the so animal stupid. had been hidden inside the room for several hours, calmly awaiting the signal from his master. Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. The monkey emerged from his hiding place and used the point of a diamond to open the glass cabinet and steal the necklace. He headed across to the window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool, which in turn knocked aside the fire guard and started the fire. The yeah. frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pool, thus alerting the house servants. He then went to the window and began to use his diamond to cut a hole, but was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier, knocking over a candle. Damn, that's a, that's a pretty agile Finally, monkey. The servants and the Marquis entered the room, leaving the door open while they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the doorway. As simple as that. A Man. brilliant explanation! <laughs> Why Bravo, did I think Holmes. of that? <laughs> and the necklace? I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? Because you're we dumb. paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. What victim? No one is dead? Yes, Watson. A poor goldfish whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces in England. Wow. So you're The aquarium me is no just one... beneath the chandelier. I understand. No the little noticed. monkey <laughs> had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium where they remain now. Yeah, it's such a simple explanation, guys. Why didn't you get it? <laughs> Here is your necklace, intact, just a little wet. Well, that is one Mr. spiffy Holmes, Marquis. This brilliant demonstration does credit to your reputation. Thank you so much, Marquis. Do you wish to verify the authenticity of your jewel? No, I recognize it. I have spent many hours admiring it, you know. Good. 
I will return it to its box and... Inspector! A bank has just been held up! You must follow me at once! Orders of Scotland Yard! What times! Sirs, duty calls. My regards, Marquis. And well done again, Mr. Holmes. There, the necklace is in its box. We've lost enough time here. Let's go home, Watson. Ah, very well, as you wish. A good day to you, Marquis. With pleasure, gentlemen. And once again, thank you. You're welcome. Sherlock Holmes is like such a dick to everyone, but in a, in a smart, intelligent way. <laughs> so they live together in the same house. OTP right here. This morning's newspaper. Holmes, have you read this article about you? No, Watson, not yet. And I won't have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. If you insist. Well, I'm actually going to end this part off here, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll end off here. Much love, and I hope you will stay with me through the whole series. Bye for now.